Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Tom. And this is Electromagnetic Field. Let's have a look at the map. This is a massive on, hacker festival. There, there we, we go. go. Uh, this is a massive hacker festival camp thing that is currently going on. In, I say currently, we are going to record this as live. We were going to do a live stream, but there's enough copyrighted music around here that it might be a little bit dangerous to do that for our YouTube streaming rights. So, Yay. should we take them on a tour? Yes. Let's go up here. So do you want to tell them about the field? Because you're volunteering here, Matt. Yes. What's going on? So this is Electromagnetic Field Festival. Let's see if I can work out how to point this camera. There we go. We are winging this. Uh, it's basically, uh, some might call it a hacker camp. It's for anyone that's interested in making things and exploring digital art and computer technology. Uh, in a field. In a field. In a field like a, so in a, field like a, a festival or Glastonbury or something so like that. Glastonbury music festivals. We've got people camping, we have stages, there's a big top in the background that you hopefully you'll be able to see. Yeah, we are filming this quite late at night. This is, this is hopefully when there should be some shiny things going on. There's, there's been lots of fire risk kind of stuff. There's lots yeah. of flashy lights. There's been a full program of lectures as well. And we have on the left here a giant inflatable rabbit that I think is from Hitchin Hackspace. Hitchin Hackspace, and I saw a thing earlier that says you can tweet it to change its colour. Yes, you can. Uh, if it, it, I don't know if anyone is around here tweeting it, but it is currently that colour. Uh, and we'll go, oh, there we go. Oh, go right, go right, go right. This is Nottingham Hacks Tuck Shop. Tuck Shop. Nottingham Hackspace. They have a they have a bar bot. Can we come in and film your, film your bar bot, folks? Yes, you may. Um, so this is a robot that makes cocktails. Can, can, we, can we order a cocktail? Is this a, is this a thing we can do here? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah. Oh, oh, blimey. Oh. Could, could someone who's already... We, we're basically doing this as live. Can you just make it do a thing? 952. There we go. Now, I saw this last year or a previous incarnation of this. And let's turn it on us while they're preparing. There we go. Um, you just hit go on a website. Yeah. And it makes a cocktail for you. Yeah. Here we go. They're putting the drink in. T oh. Tap this round. There in. we go. There we there go. go. Here it goes. Change to green. Away, away it goes. It's gonna, there we go, there goes the rum. This is amazing, how do you make this, guys? Where do we want to start? Um, <laughs> yes, well, uh, I designed the, the carbonated, uh, carbonated dispensers. Yeah, uh, somebody sense. else designed the, um, the optics system. Somebody else designed the dashers system. Somebody else designed the big uh, syringe full of grenadine. And it's basically powered by a uh, Raspberry Pi and an Arduino. That's uh, amazing. That's brilliant. This Give us a wave. No umbrella, <laughs> there we oh. go. That's, that's Not Nottingham Hackspace, right? Yeah. Thank Lovely. You. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So got a great tuck shop through there. Yep. <laughs> let's, let's keep <laughs> moving. So what else have we got? Oh, there's some flashy lights over there. Shall they we weren't jog? there earlier. Yeah, let's, let's jog. Let's do the Osmo run, Matt. What you can't see is Matt basically running like Groucho Marx at this moment in order to try and keep the camera stable. Um, to the left is the crew from Nexmo. They sponsor some of the amazing badges that are going on here. There's the amateur radio tent on the right. There we go. They've got a, they've got a big thing. Up. They have set up their own masts and antennae, talking to people all around the world in amateur radio. Are they going to try and talk to the International Space Station or something like it? I wouldn't be surprised. There have been several passes over recently. I Here's a sign. That looks brilliant. I don't. It, it just says. It just says si, si, sign. Sign. Signs. Sings? Signs. No idea. Let's keep. Oh, oh, South London Makerspace. Should we go say hi to them? Hello. Can we film your thing briefly? <laughs> Give us a wave. Hello. 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 Who are you guys? South London Makerspace. Say that again. South London Makerspace. And where, where are well, you? You're in South London. Where are you specifically? We're based in Herne Hill under a railway arch that we've just done up ourselves and turned into a workshop. That's lovely. And you have a lovely little tent and lighting that looks uh, it's just spilling all over. That's wonderful. Down. Look from look from further down. It look down. It still like a it, it, no, it, it, it did earlier. It looked like a, a body being laid out there. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Uh, this is a good point to point out that toilet, Matt. Come, come on, follow us over here. This is a dart and glow. Do you want to explain this? You've been working on this, Matt. Um, so, at a hacker conference or anything no, on. The camera's not pointing at it. Uh, anything, uh, anything of this kind where you have technical people in the field, yes. you're going to want them to have internet and power yes. for all their de devices. How do you do that and keep it all dry? You do well, this. 
you have a portable toilet, which is used instead for keeping equipment dry. There is no poo in there. There is internet though. <laughs> Hopefully. And so that thing on the top is a big Wi-Fi router. Uh, all the way up uh, up there, big Wi-Fi router, and that is apparently a visualization of the packets flying through this. Oh, this wow. has this has a gigabyte. This field, we have internet to the tent, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. I think it was getting 300 megabits sustained earlier. It, it's got a gig, up to a gigabit connection, I believe. Those are those are. It's, it's Lots amazing. Lots of internet for a place, never mind the field. <laughs> all right, I'm going to keep running this way. Who else have we got? This is one of the stages. There's something on in there. Let's let's just keep quiet. I'm just going to poke this this way. Who who have we got? Do things for business oh, no, that's a, that's a movie that's copyrighted. We can't go. Uh, I mean, they've got permission to show it. It's a hacker movie, but uh, people... Uh, there we go. You're in, Matt. So, we're... Oh, mind, mind the guy ropes. Guy ropes, guy ropes everywhere. Ropes. It's a festival. If you've been to festivals before, you know the hell. Oh, he's going that way. He's going that way. Okay, good. I'm not used to controlling this camera in selfie mode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're now on the main drag back down towards where we started. Now on the right here... We're in dome zone. We're in dome zone. So here's one. Uh, later on, well, last night, this had pretty 360 visualizations on its outside. Yes. Uh, what do we have? Is that is Milliways. Milliways. What do they do? Because okay, so that's restaurant at the end of the universe from Douglas Adams. What do they... I think they make food for people? Uh, yes, I, I, I don't quite know. There were a lot of people in there drinking whiskey last night. And some music I probably shouldn't point my camera to. That's the karaoke tent. Karaoke they haven't started yet. They were, they were loud. Yes. Oh, blimey, we're coming up to the Dutch. Over here on the left. Right, um, we might need to mute the audio here because what the Dutch have done is trolled the entirety of EMF camp really, really nicely with an enormous smoke machine that makes the whole place foggy and loud, loud dance music constantly. We've got to mute this bit. That's the Dutch. Ra rave in the fog. We've got the Maths Village over there on the right. What else have we got? As we soldering stations. Soldering okay. stations. Uh, there was also the Scottish Embassy. We missed them back there. Oh yes. Uh, they had some funny signs. Yes, they so did. The Gold Members Lounge. Oh yeah, let's let's go. Right. So this is. I'm running behind Matt here. London Hackspace uh, have also been doing a little bit of a uh, little bit of joking here, because they have invented the electromagnetic field Gold Members Lounge. Should we give them the full experience here, Matt? Here we go. In we go, down the red carpet, gold member sign on the, t on the top right there. And a dome. And we're going to have to mute this audio again. Say that again, Matt. Balloons. Uh, retro arcade, let's go in there. Oh, here we go. We should have had someone following us with this, Matt. Yes. This got shipped down from somewhere in northern England. Yeah. It's a lot of ancient arcade games that are still so fun now. And massively free to play. The sound in here is wonderful. I want us not to talk over that for a little while. <laughs> They've got Nintendo 60. I spent hours last night playing Mario Kart in here. That's, that's fair, that's easy. How sweary was it? Because I get quite sweary. Uh, reasonably. <laughs> reasonably. <laughs> now, I hope this has been okay to watch because we're running, I'm holding a camera. Yeah. We're, we're not going for our usual finesse with this. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, because we've got usual finesse, Matt. <laughs> Blacksmithing tent. Uh, not currently in use but there have been workshops in there all the time. And Anyone can sign up for anything here. There are talks throughout the day. Oh, fire pong! There are workshops. People have been learning to blacksmith. And this, from Nottingham Hackspace again, is fire pong. <laughs> so to explain, they've got uh, massive paddles that the two players are holding on the left and right, and they essentially have to waft the fire back at the other player. Oh, we've come at a moment when it's having a slight technical issue. That is, of course, the problem with hacking. It's things people have made up on the spot or specifically for this in their spare time, so there's not necessarily time to prepare. Should yep, we come back to this in a minute? We'll come back to this in a minute. Let's, let's go see the grid. Let's, let's, go, let's go see the grid, which is just quite a beautiful setup, really. 
one could have called it art almost. I think it is. I think yeah. anything like this is art. And it just does lighting displays. It does shiny things. Behind it, you can see the festival showers. Oh, it's so nice having showers at a festival. <laughs> uh, right, let's scoot around. Should we, go see the, should we go see the giant rhythm game in a minute? Yes. This has had other pretty... It seems like a very static pattern right now. Yeah. Um, there's food, as with every festival. What Inside else have we got? there, if you can hear a rumbling, <laughs> it's the oh. Algorave tent. Yes, that's, oh, we don't have to worry about copyright music here. because That all... is algorithmically generated... Live. Uh, yeah, live music. Live on the fly by someone who's uh, just typing code into a laptop at that very minute. Right now, it sounds like this. Now, at events like this in fields and such, people like to imbibe alcohol. Yes. And what a better a name for an event such as this than the Robot Arms. They've got a pub sign, with proper real British pub sign. Robot Arms. That is lovely. Should we show them briefly inside the pub? Because the pub, of course, it uh, has an API and a dashboard and a status board, so you can see exactly what's being sold and how much there is. Oh, yeah, the BBC Micro. Oh, I remember these from when I was in school. Here we go. Press any key to tweet. That's nice. And th this is Twitter connected to a BBC Micro computer. For those uh, not in the UK, the BBC Micro's from 1982. Pretty much every school in the country had one or two of them. And it's, it's very, very nostalgic for yes. many people of our age. All right, so, uh, oh, the rhythm game, the rhythm game. I set that one up earlier. How much copyrighted music is going on here? Oh, let's it looks see. like it's not turned on at the moment. No, that's fine, so well, we can explain it. it. We've got five buttons here. It plays like uh, Beat Mania or Guitar Hero or anything like that. Hit that, get the buttons going down, these enormous things behind me. And, and the lights will shine down these, and when they hit the bottom, you, you the press the button. This, let's say, we've, we, there was fire a moment. Should we end this on fire pong? Because I think it was working again. I saw, uh, I saw a burst of flame from over here. And you've pretty much had the entire lap of the main bit of the site from us now. There's a whole, yeah. we're breathing heavily. There's a lot of camping area, there's a lot of other things going on, but I think we're about to see a game of fire pong. A big Let's see how this is going. Yeah, instructions are being given. So they have to waft the bat. It's got a Wiimote attached to it. And what you'll see is a, a ball of fire moving along and back. Ooh, we can hear some blacksmithing smithing in the background. Yeah, well, it's angle grinding, but close enough. Um, and hopefully they're going to start a game very shortly, but whether they are or not is another matter. In the meantime, do you want to, uh, do you want to bring this round for us? <laughs> <laughs> that was electromagnetic field. We're a little bit exhausted right now. And they're about to play. Let's watch the game. So the kid on the right has to waft the bat at the right moment. He did not. Let's try that one more time. Okay, it's going the other way now. Unfortunately, I can't zoom. There oh, goes they the fire. Hit it back. There oh, it goes it's back. back. Oh, it's back again. We've got quite a so rally happening. Yeah, well, the speed of the fire depends on how hard you whap the bat. And I think oh. that's the game, which means that they get to take a victory swipe and boom. <laughs> That is electromagnetic field. And you know who we are. And yeah. We're quite exhausted. You know how on some of your videos with this camera, I finish with ridiculous sweeping shots. Yeah. I think it's time for a ridiculous sweeping shot. Oh blimey, he's off. And he hasn't taken the microphone. I'm not running after him with this. You just, just now have to deal with that. The Dutch have, the Dutch have filled the site with smoke. There is a lot of smoke there. My shorts fell down. Yeah, it, it wasn't pretty.